You need to be careful when you're using strings and characters to make the distinction between the two. They are different types of data as far as C is concerned. Now, if you're writing a whole string such as hello world, it's pretty obvious that's not a character, single character. But sometimes you might be dealing with a single character as I've got here, which is the character X, and it's delimited as character literals, piece of character data should be, by single quotes. And so if I test it with a character testing function such as is alpha, okay, it says it's a letter, no surprise there. But it's perfectly valid syntax, C will allow it, for me to put in the uh, same test here, but using double quotes around my X. But this time, double quotes show it's a string and not a char. Does that make any difference? Let's try it again. Well, it certainly does, because this time I've run the same code, but it says X is not a letter. So that's quite an important thing to bear in mind, because sometimes if you pass strings to functions that expect chars, they will accept the argument, but they will not necessarily produce the results that you expect. Why is that? Well, remember that a string, even one such as X, which appears only to contain one character, is really a memory location at which an array of characters begins. And that means that when you accidentally enter a string, such as double quote X, double quote, when you'd intended to enter a char, single quote X, single quote, your code is unlikely to produce the results that you expect. So just be careful of that, that it is important to make the difference between single quotes and double quotes, even if you appear only to be using one char at a time.